This study directly addresses the threshold of aortic size of when to offer repair and really does offer evidence of changing practice. What this means for patients is that patients with leptosomic features and aortic root dilation who do not fit a known genetic syndrome should be followed just as closely with patients with connective tissue disorders and perhaps offered an operation at the same aortic size threshold as those patients with a genetic syndrome or a connective tissue disorder. The next step in this line of research should be a multi-institutional study looking at more, more at the natural history of the aorta of patients with leptosomic features, and this would be crucial in obtaining more information. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.